Well, it's an interesting week. We are back in Illinois and we are planning on visiting my kids. But in the meantime, we also have some things we have to fix. It's funny how uh, projects just are never ending in the RV life. I will take you around and show you what we're working on. Finally got Gary to take out the grill again. And I think that was partly because of my son, Michael, who loves ribs. We're making ribs right now. And the problem is our portable solar panel. This is a VCU Tech 200 watt portable solar panel. We bought this back in February. It's been holding up pretty well until this morning. The connector here we noticed was broken. So we are, of course, in typical Jocelyn fashion, ripping this apart. We're going to try and get this thing working by Gary rigging it. <laughs> it's amazing how often these little screwdrivers have come in handy. Great option for Harbor Freight. Cheap, but uh, very useful tools, especially for little tiny screws like that size. Well, the problem is still a mystery. I don't know, gang. But it looks like we found ourselves a mystery. We were thinking since this connector was broken that maybe the splices in here weren't good, but we just removed the heat shrink and they do look okay. We verified that the cable going in here is good, um, but we are still not getting voltage there when the panel is open. So, yeah, it's further on in. Dang it. So I wonder if it's broken, like, where it folds. Because here's where the wires run. All right. Well, let's keep digging. I mean, it's not going to hurt to keep digging, right? Um, what else we got to do is buy a new one. Yep. Which are not cheap. These are like 350 bucks. Okay. Actually, I found online that... All of the panels are actually in series, so if any one of the panels goes out or has low light, the whole thing is worthless, which kind of makes sense based upon Gary constantly trying to chase the sun. So we're going to try something else, which is the EcoFlow 220 watt solar panel. These panels are in parallel, which is really what you need um, for a panel. And then so you drop it. So the one thing we weren't quite so sure about was apparently you angle it based upon your storage case, which seemed a little wonky. The connectors seem to be the right polarity, and they even have a tag on there that says that it's positive and negative. We had so many challenges lately, I don't know why. And rework of stuff just plain sucks. We had previously been using these white cables, which were sheathed. We thought would be a really good option for our external solar panels. And I do not recommend this. On almost every single connector that we had, the wires inside, the black and white wires, broke. And we thought, you know, once it could have been us, we could have nicked the cable while we were removing the white sheathing, but it happened on every single connector, which is kind of ridiculous. So here's a good example. That, you can tell, was not an accidental cut. So... We are getting rid of the cable and replacing it with different cable, getting rid of our solar panel and replacing it with another solar panel. Yeah. Luckily, Gary's doing all the work, which makes it easier for us, but you know, you never want to have to pay for things twice and have to work on things twice. You can kind of see how this is. It's kind of bulky. That is the new cable that we'll be using right now. Much cleaner. We will put all of the stuff that we have got rid of, as well as the new items. We'll place all that in the description below. Morning. Morning. Today is move day. 
Woohoo! Yay! At least we picked a nice sunny day for it. No wind. Yes. Awesome. No rain. We're moving all of our junk, so all the stuff that's in our tent first, and then we'll come back and grab the camper because we can. So we're going to share our boring move day. Oh with yeah, you. it's going to be just as boring as sin. Guaranteed, it probably won't be. Something will break. <laughs> Guaranteed. No, no, we have enough broken already. Definitely not used to a, a two-door. Sure. I'm still trying to figure out everything here. We have been at Kamlara Park here for a few weeks now, trying to get settled in working on doing some necessary maintenance, both on our camper and ourselves. We've been going to doctor visit, dentist visits, doing the fun extra stuff like mammograms and colonoscopies. Yay, it is that time of, of, uh, of our life where we have to do that. Yeah, we're going to colonoscopy place. Get ready to get stuff done. How you feeling? Like I've been probed. <laughs> <laughs> I think the aliens came and got me. And we get to keep this car lovely for another... So we got to carry it for another five days. Uh, evidently the truck had a little bit... Uh, it's got to do a little more surgery on it than what was... Yeah, thought. tell them what, what what's going on. This so, is nuts. Didn't forget any uh, oil um, leak that we had from pretty much the get-go. Um, just been neglecting putting it on because it's a it's a job. But we, it's a warranty item. <clears throat> it it's is a, a warranty item, so we're having to have that fixed. A 4500 and a 5500, you have to remove the cab to get what they needed fixed. The entire friggin' cab. That's going to gonna take a little more than, <laughs> than two days. Yeah, that is definitely major surgery. Yes. So, But it's good that we are doing this in an area that we are parked. We have the ability to dump our tanks even with the truck being gone because we have the tote. That's one advantage of that tote yet again. Yes, we can move our poop from one end to the <laughs> other. Check this out. We have the whole back section to us. They did turn off the water, so that's part of the reason, but not too shabby.
Thank you. Got no issues, it's kind of nice. Like running water to a paradise. Got no drama. I wasn't gonna forget for sure. So we are in Peoria doing a little bit of shopping and we decided to try something a little different. Yeah. Uh, we are going to try, uh, I'm trying to get the name right here, Obed and Isaacs. They have a microbrewery in a converted church downtown. So looks like they also have some pretty good food. So we're going to, we're going to yeah, we'll give it, it a, for try. a spin. Yep. And we're in a car, so I don't have to try to park the truck. Yes, this is the perfect time to do that. Yeah, it's because it's in a downtown area. Oh, and you're getting off here. Yeah, that is that church right there. Nice. Parking in downtown Peoria is definitely not RV friendly, which is expected for Pretty much any reasonable size town. It is really neat. Hard day of shopping. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's an ambition. It is. I don't even know how to start on that one. Yeah, it must have been really awful. It was terrible. We should come out here. In Peoria, this is definitely a place to go because yeah. food was awesome. The beer was fantastic. Yeah. And the parking is good. So. I wouldn't bring an RV in here, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. bigger vehicles, so at least you can fit them. Well, we'll see you on the next round. All right.